Rule 98. Trustees. Section 1. Where trustee appointed. A trustee necessary to carry into effect the provisions of a will on written instrument shall be appointed by the court of first instance in which the will was allowed, if it be a will allowed in the Philippines, otherwise by the court of first instance of the province in which the property, or some portion thereof, affected by the trust is situated. Section 2. Appointment and Powers of Trustees Under Will Executor of former trustee need not administer trust. If a testator has omitted in his will to appoint a trustee in the Philippines, and if such appointment is necessary to carry into effect the provisions of the will, the proper court of first instance may, after notice to all persons interested, appoint a trustee who shall have the same rights, powers, and duties, and in whom the estate shall vest, as if he had been appointed by the testator. No person succeeding to a trust as executor or administrator of a former trustee shall be required to accept such trust. Section 3. Appointment and Powers of New Trustee Under Written Instrument When a trustee under a written instrument declines, resigns, dies, or removed before the objects of the trust are accomplished, and no adequate provision is made in such instrument for supplying the vacancy, the proper court of first instance may, after due notice to all persons interested, appoint a new trustee to act alone or jointly with the others, as the case may be. Such new trustee shall have and exercise the same powers, right, and duties as if he had been originally appointed, and the trust estate shall vest in him in like manner as it had vested or would have vested, in the trustee in whose place he is substituted and the court may order such conveyance to be made by the former trustee or his representatives, or by the other remaining trustees, as may be necessary or proper to vest the trust estate in the new trustee, either or jointly with the others. Section 4 Proceedings where trustee appointed abroad. When land in the Philippines is held in trust for persons resident here by a trustee who derives his authority from without the Philippines, such trustee shall, on petition filed in the court of first instance of the province where the land is situated, and after due notice to all persons interested, be ordered to apply to the court for appointment as trustee, and upon his neglect or refusal to comply with such order, the court shall declare such trust vacant and shall appoint a new trustee, in whom the trust estate shall vest in like manner as if he had been originally appointed by such court. Section 5. Trustee must file bond. Before entering on the duties of his trust, a trustee shall file with the clerk of the court having jurisdiction of the trust a bond in the amount fixed by the judge of said court, payable to the government of the Philippines and sufficient and available for the protection of any party in interest and a trustee who neglects to file such bond shall be considered to have declined or resigned the trust, but the court may until further order exempt a trustee under a will from giving a bond. When the testator has directed or earn passive income from sales by promoting product links of Shopee, Lazada, Zalora among others, just generate the affiliate link and post it in your social media. If someone buy, you will earn commission. Check out the link on the description to get rewards. Requested such exemption and may so exempt any trustee when all persons beneficially interested in the trust, being of full age, request the exemption. Such exemption may be cancelled by the court at any time and the trustee required to forthwith file a bond. Section 6. Conditions included in bond. The following conditions shall be deemed to be part of the bond whether written therein or not. That the trustee will make and return to the court, at such time as it may order a true inventory of all the real and personal estate belonging to him as trustee, which at the time of the making of such inventory shall have come to his possession or knowledge. That he will manage and dispose of all such estate, and faithfully discharge his trust in relation thereto, according to law and the will of the testator or the provisions of the instrument or order under which he is appointed. That he will render upon oath at least once a year until his trust is fulfilled, unless he is excused therefrom in any year by the court a true account of the property in his hands and the management and disposition thereof, and will render such other accounts as the court may order. That at the expiration of his trust he will settle his account in court and pay over and deliver all the estate remaining in his hands, or do from him on such settlement, to the person or persons entitled to thereto. But when the trustee is appointed as a successor to a prior trustee, the court may dispense with the making and return of an inventory, if one has already been filed and in such case the condition of the bond shall be deemed to be altered accordingly. Section 7. 
appraisal, compensation of trustee. When an inventory is required to be returned by a trustee, the estate and effects belonging to the trust shall be appraised and the court may order one or more inheritance tax appraisers to assist in the appraisement. The compensation of the trustee shall be fixed by the court, if it be not determined in the instrument creating the trust. Section 8. Removal or Resignation of Trustee The proper court of first instance may upon petition of the parties beneficially interested and after due notice to the trustee and hearing, remove a trustee if such removal appears essential in the interest of the petitioner. The court may also, after due notice to all persons interested, remove a trustee who is insane or otherwise incapable of discharging his trust or evidently unsuitable therefore. A trustee, whether appointed by the court or under a written instrument, may resign his trust if it appears to the court proper to allow such resignation. Section 9. Proceedings for Sale or Encumbrance of Trust Estate When the sale or encumbrance of any real or personal estate held in trust is necessary or expedient, the court having jurisdiction of the trust may, on petition and after due notice and hearing, order such sale or encumbrance to be made, and the reinvestment and application of the proceeds thereof in such manner as will best affect the objects of the trust. The petition, notice, hearing, order of sale or encumbrance, and record of proceedings, shall conform as nearly as may be to the provisions concerning the sale or encumbrance by guardians of the property of minors or other wards. Gcash is a domestic online application which is the best app to use when paying bills. You can also invest in the stock market using this app and an app to buy life insurance. Try it now. See the link in the description of this video to get 50 pesos cash rebate.